bring in Chief Legal Analyst Kali Froge. And not a lot of surprises here tonight, except from Mecklenburg County Board of Commissioners, where Pat Cotham, the incumbent longtime Democrat there, lost. And a lot of people think it was the Trisha Cotham effect. Not many surprises tonight, but I can tell you that name recognition matters in elections, right? And so your name pops up. People can go to the polls and expect to see you every time. Hey, I can vote for that name. I can vote for that name. Name recognition tonight hurt Pat Cotham 100% because her daughter's actions were something where Democrats didn't have a chance to go against her because she's a Republican now. So they say the only way we can go against you is to vote against you. And so it shows. I mean, I thought that there would be a decrease in the number of folks that voted against her, but I did not anticipate, you know, almost nine to 10,000 folks going the other way. And so by all means, she had a noticeable gap in, in loss of voter support. I mean, in previous years, she's been the top vote getter. She's been the number two a number of times. So this was a major blow and you can directly connect it to her daughter's actions. Obviously last year that opened the floodgates of a number of legislation that got passed in the state. And we just showed you the election results there from that race. So we're talking about 26%, 25%, 24% in that order. It was Lee Altman, Arthur Griffin, and then new to this board, Yvette Townsend Ingram, Talk to me about when you saw this race, why did she uh, do so well tonight? Perfect storm. I mean, you have the issue with Pat Gotham, and then you have a person that's a seasoned individual. Yvette Townsend Ingram has been in politics for a number of years in the background, helped a number of candidates to get office and become uh, elected officials. And so she's run before in the past. She's went through the process. She know what it, what it took to raise funds. She know what it took to be in positions of shaking hands with individuals at, 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 at campaign events and giving speeches. And she's someone that's connected to the community. She wants to serve and she has committed herself to doing out there. I hosted a forum with her earlier this year and she talked about why she wants to continue to serve and why she puts herself out there for service. She said, because I still feel like I have something to offer mm. and I feel like my time to serve is now. And, and obviously the voters across this county uh, have agreed with her comments. Yeah, changing of the guard tonight and somewhat and Pat Cotham, Morgan was uh, saying that a lot of people had a lot of name confusion there. I mean, tonight. if you go to the polls, and I mean, Pat Cotham has been in office since 2012, so you're talking about 12 plus years of voting for the same name. And so you come in there expecting to go against Cotham. It's easy to find that. And if you are not a registered Republican, the only Cotham that you see on the ballot, I know I'm not voting for that one. I think that's what happened. Quite the message sent yeah. for November, too. Big, loud message.